Hey, what's up guys, I'm Vincent. Today, I'm going to show you one of the most important skills in brush pass, hang time. All right, here we go. So, if you are not sure what is brush pass in football, make sure you check out my 30 minutes online beginner course first. I have a section to talk about the basics of a brush pass. In this video, first, I will talk about the basic form of a hang time. Second, how you could use the brush pass with the hang time. And lastly, I will talk about how to increase the hang time for your brush pass. Before we start, if you are new in here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell below so that you don't miss out an episode. First, what is hang time? In football, you know that for a brush pass, you start the ball with the second man on the 5 bar, pass the ball to this guy, and you choose whether you could go for the wall pass or the lane pass, and pass the ball from the 5 bar to the 3 bar. Now, if you notice clearly for the brush pass, you actually always pass with this setup, and the hang time is actually the duration of the time that you hover over the ball with the man behind before you do the pass. And I have talked about this concept in my hesitation wall pass video before. Make sure you check it out and to learn more about this concept. Now, let's talk about the hand time in brush pass. You could see that the furthest point for this guy on the five bar is this spot. So this is the furthest point where you will start to do the brush pass. Now, this area is actually the hang time for the brush pass because you could pass from this spot, this spot, or this spot, or even closest to the wall, you could still pass from this spot. Now, let me show you to pass from the initial spot of the hang time first. I'm going to do the lane pass and the wall pass. As you can see, if I'm going to pass from this spot, there is actually not much hang time in your brush pass. And now, I'm going to show you to pass from this spot. I'm going to do the lane pass and the wall pass again. However, before I pass from this spot, I'm going to show you the hang time. I'm going to hover over the ball with this guy and you could see the hang time before the pass. Now, you understand the definition of the hang time in brush pass. Now, I'm going to show you some variations of the motion of this guy before you pass so that you could pass more effectively and build up your own style in passing. First, just like what I have used in my examples before, you simply hover over the ball with this guy without any motion. So, you simply follow the ball Follow the motion of the ball, just like that, before you pass. Second, when you hover over the ball, you could add some extra motion on this guy. You could add the brush motion, like this, before you pass.
third, just like the basic form, instead of completely half over the ball, you could actually cover half of the ball, either on this side or this side when you are hovering over the ball before the pass. In this example, I'm going to hover over top half of the ball before the pass. So, what is the reason why you want to hover over half of the ball instead of the full ball? Because if you notice clearly in my previous pass, if you are hovering half of the ball, when you do the lane pass, you have to bring this guy back to this spot before the pass. Now, if you do this in one motion, it looks like you are going for the wall pass. And this is why you could use this motion to make your opponent to jump all the way to the wall to open up the lane pass. Now you know the definition of the hang time and how to pass with different variations. However, you always start from the second guy on your fast bar to the first guy to do the pass. So do you know that you could actually increase your hang time on your 5 bar so that you could utilize the 10 seconds rule on the 5 bar. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, if you are not ready for the pass or the ball is nearly goes to a stop, you could simply reset the ball with this guy. or you could use the wall to reset your hang time. And the last one requires advanced ball control skill. Instead of resetting the hang time with another guy, you could actually reset with the same guy using the sides of the man. Now you have learned everything about hang time in brush pass. Try it out and let me know your favorite motions in the comments box down below. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you again next time.